Good morning children and welcome to this class of English. Today in the second part of the video for the chapter Indigo from the English book Flamingo, I'm going to explain you the summary of the chapter and some important word and their meaning. So let's begin. So children, Indigo as I've explained in the first part of the video, actually it's a is going to assist students in learning about the chapter in a summarized version. It is the struggle of Mahatma Gandhi which has been portrayed over here for the underprivileged peasants of Champaran. They were the sharecroppers, as I've told you, discussed there with the British planters, and their life was very wretched. They were totally exploited by the Britishers. And uh, they had to sign an agreement to grow indigo on 15% of their land. As Bihar has a landlord system back then, it worsened their condition. Thus Gandhi decided to fight against injustice. And he waged a war which lasted for a year to tackle the discrimination and got justice for the peasants. After that, it helped the peasants become courageous. Once Ahmatma was with them and then the Mahatma's strength was with them when Mahatma left. As they had become aware of their fundamental rights. Moreover, Gandhi ji did not just work to tackle political or economic issues, but he also took up social issues. He worked to provide them with education, health, hygiene and taught them self-confidence. The story is set in 1916 when Gandhiji steps up to help a bunch of poor peasants from Champaran on the request of Rajkumar Sukla who met him. It gives an account of how he struggled to bring them justice and equality. Thus it begins with most of the arable land of Champaran that divides into a large estate. The owners of the estate are Englishmen and the workers are Indian tenants. We learn that the chief commercial crop on this land is indigo. Moreover, we also see that the landlords compel all the tenants to plant 15% of their indigo and submit the whole harvest in the form of rent. The tenants are under a long-term agreement to do so. You would worry about the word tenant. Tenant means in Hindi, kiraidar. And it exactly means the person who lives in some other's house and pays some money as rent. But in this chapter it means the farmers who work on some other's field and they get in return their share. And the tenants are under a long term agreement to do so. However, when Germany developed synthetic indigo, the British did not require the indigo crop anymore. Thus they ordered to release the poor peasants from their agreement of 15% and they start demanding compensation that if you want to get free from this agreement you have to pay the compensation while some of the uneducated peasants agreed on this the others did not agree thus we notice that one of the sharecroppers Rajkumar Sukla arranges for a meeting with Gandhi he meets him for the same issues and insists Gandhi to visit the place to end the long-standing injustice Gandhi agrees and he boards a train to Patna in Bihar. After that, Rajkumar Sukla helps Gandhi visit the house of Rajendra Prasad, you know, the first president of India later on, as you know, he was a lawyer also. And as Gandhi dresses simply, the servants thought that he is also a poor peasant. Thus, Gandhi planned before trying to get the peasants any justice. It is because the British government are punishing anyone who is keeping national leaders or protesters. Thus, when Gandhi arrived in the place, the news of his arrival spread like jungle fire and it resulted in a lot of lawyers and peasants, groups pouring in large numbers in his support. Consequently, the lawyers did not accept that the charges are quite high and too unreasonable for a poor peasant. However, Gandhi was criticizing them for collecting huge fees from the sharecroppers. You know, he sheeted the lawyers there. C-H-I-D-E-D, -E 
the exact word is she did it means he just scolded the lawyers that why are you just accepting a huge sum of fees from the lawyers uh, from sorry from the peasants because they can't pay and due to which the lawyers they understood the thing and the scene and then they came in full support of the peasants he was emphasizing on counseling and as this will provide the peasants with confidence to fight their fear thus he managed to get justice after a year long fight for the peasants he has also arranged for their education health and hygiene for the families of the poor peasants finally he teaches them a lesson of self sufficiency and self confidence as gandhi ji demanded 50% compensation from the peasants in place of the compensation which the britishers were demanding to free the peasants from the agreement but britishers paid only 25% compensation gandhi was happy because it, he not only wanted to get the compensation but his main target was to let down the british if we sum up this chapter we learn that how gandhi ji did not merely help in freeing india but was always working for the betterment of his countrymen from the very start now children let's discuss some important word and their meaning which have been used in this chapter departure means the action of leaving especially to start a journey emaciated abnormally thin or weak especially because of illness or lack of food tenacity means the quality or fact of being able to grip something firmly a firm grip commented express an opinion or reaction in speech or writing secretary person employed by an individual or in an office to assist with correspondence make appointments and carry out administrative tasks we use a term under secretary like that influential influential spelling is a little bit wrong i n f l u e n t i a l having great influence on someone or something conflict a serious disagreement or argument typically a pro tracted one liberty the state of being free with within society from oppressive restrictions imposed by authority on one's behavior political views throbbed beat or sound with a strong regular rhythm pulsate steadily planters a manager or owner of a plantation trench a long narrow ditch alleviate make less severe suffering or a problem pacifist a person who believes that war and violence are unjustifiable defiance defy means to resist to unfollow the order disobedience convention means agreement delegates representatives peasant small farmer emaciated thin champar is the place in bihar share croppers a tenant farmer who gives a part of each crop as rent resolute means resolution you know what is your new year resolution i think this phrase you might have heard somewhere means what if we decided for the new year so the so, so, so same word is there resolute means determined committed means dedicated accompanied go somewhere with someone as a companion or escort kanpur british name for the city of kanpur tenacity tenacity means determination tenacious is another word haunches means thigh boarded get on enter yeoman a man who cultivates a small piece of land pestered bother or harass permitted allowed in route 
means on the way imparting pass on or giving extraordinary exceptional remarkable harbor here entertain harbor is one more meaning that is where ships come and rest sympathy support or pity advocate supporter advent arrival conveyance transportation sheeted criticized or scolded conclusion result of something fear stricken afraid arable land suitable for farming tenants occupants paying rent in cash or kind estate property compelled forced surrendered to given contract agreement indigo plant that produces a blue color i told you it's a dye synthetic dye but earlier before the advent of this thing in germany plant was there whose parts were used as dye accompanied go along with someone multitude a large number of people investigations inquiries maltreated ill treated superintendent manager or supervisor overtook went ahead of him complied followed or obeyed consequence result influential powerful wired telegraphed merely only authorities officials in power spontaneous voluntary or unforced demonstrations means protest court house court building liberation release concrete solid hit her to miss earlier previously dreaded regarded with great fear or apprehension on question not examined or inquired into baffled confused prosecutor we sometimes use public prosecutor or defense lawyer prosecutor means lawyer or barrister postpone delay apparently seemingly or clearly or evidently protested objected or disapproved pleading the action of making an emotion or honest appeal to someone guilty at fault conflict means to be against someone humanitarian concerned with human welfare concerns sense of right and wrong magistrate civil officer who administers law pronounce that is to declare or announce recess break bail actually means an amount of money that a person who has been accused of a crime pays to a law court so that they can be released until their trial lieutenant governor that is deputy governor province region or territory civil disobedience peaceful form of political protest triumph victory or win grievance complaints depositions a formal written statement evidence proof throbbed produce a lot of vibrations due to a huge crowd investigators the inspectors vehement showing strong feeling forceful passionate or intense deceitfully means dishonestly extorted took forcibly 
adamant, firm, amazement, surprise, obliged, required, made legally bound to do something. Deadlock is a situation in which no progress can be made when you are in a fix or stuck somewhere. Unanimously, without opposition, prestige, honor or esteem. Defenders, protectors. Justified, marked by a good or legitimate reason. Abandoned, deserted or uninhabited. State means property. Reverted means returned. Contented, willing to accept something or satisfied. Miserable, unhappy or sad. Volunteer, a person who offers a service free of cost. Eruptions, here it's a spot, a rash or other mark appearing suddenly on skin. Defiance means opposition. Alleviate means uplift, distress, torture, intertwined, twisted, braided or knitted. Abstractions, something which exists only as an idea. We say abstract idea, means which, has, which cannot be proved, that is abstract. So children, that's all in this part of video. The detailed explanation will continue in the next video. Till then, thank you and goodbye.